My friends, welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris. Today we will introduce another type of entity, uh, the destructible objects. Um, maybe we have used them before, maybe you were able to do nice things with them, but I haven't properly explained yet in a tutorial how to use them, so let's go. Um, dest what, what we call destructible items, destructible objects in Solaris are entities that the hero can destroy either with the sword by cutting it like a bush or he can lift the object or both and so if he can lift the, the object he can also throw it so we can use that to implement um, bushes, stones, vases and one interesting feature is that they can hide a treasure, they can drop a treasure when um, they are either lifted or destroyed. And there, are, there is a number of things that, things that you can uh, configure it here. So let's try to do uh, first a bush and see what we can do. So you can put any treasure that you want in your, in your bush. Um, so this is similar to treasure chests, enemies, and also pickable entities. So you can configure the treasure with some variant and some uh, same optional save, save game variable. Here we will not save this uh, gem. You can play a sound when the bush is destroyed. So we happen to have a sound just about that. It's called bush. You can specify if the bush can be lifted by the hero. Um, and if yes, what is the minimum um, required lift ability level um, that the hero needs to have to, to be allowed to lift our bush? So if you, if you uncheck this, it's simple. <laughs> the bush cannot be lifted at all. And if you check this, zero means that it can be lifted without any uh, condition and if, if you say one uh, well then the lift ability level should be at least one and so on so let's say that we can lift the bush as soon as the game starts so we don't need any particular item for now and let's say that it can be cut with the sword and that's pretty much it it can also hurt enemies with one uh, damage point, which by default translates to uh, life points to enemies. So let's see, we have our bush here. Uh, we can already test and see what happens. So we can cut the bush here. We had we heard the sound and we get the, the pickable treasure that was inside. Um, oops. Sorry, I think I forgot to put a teletransporter in that map, so I cannot go back. I have to reload. Uh, I wanted to lift the bush this time. So same, we have the pickable treasure and we can throw the bush anywhere that we want. Let's try to aim at this enemy. Okay, it worked. So he was hurt with one life point. Two and three. Uh, so you can check that indeed he had three life points initially. Okay, um, so that was our first example. Let's replace the bush this time by a stone. So it will be heavier. Play a sound when destroyed this time. The bush sound will not be the best for that. So we have a stone sound also. It can be lifted, but this time, let's say we want the lift ability to be at least one and impossible to cut uh, the stone with your sword. And let's say that it will inflict more damage because it's more powerful than a bush. And OK. So here, there is no way that I can. Yeah, I cannot lift the stone. Uh, so let's make a, a power bracelet item that will give the ability to lift. 
it's just a small treasure chest here with treasure uh, first I need to create it I will quickly create a very simple item whose only effect is to set the lift ability it will be similar to the sword actually except that we will save it in another variable position power bracelet treasure okay and when the variant is changed we change the lift ability so it's pretty simple because the lift process is completely handled by the engine so there is no lua code here involved unless you want to do something more customized um, yeah so and, and the engine will automatically call the appropriate animations of our destructible item so you need these animations on ground which is displayed when uh, the object is uh, yeah still on the ground and when it is lifted by the hero animation either stopped or working will be displayed depending on whether the hero is stopped or working so stopped here is a fixed picture and walking is this animation that tries to follow the the walk anime the walking animation of the hero and then destroy it is played when uh, the object is destroyed either when it is cut by the sword when it is allowed or when uh, it was thrown so we have similar things for our stone here with a destroy animation stone white same and also the vase so uh, yeah you get the idea but let's let's test our power bracelet here so initially I have no lift ability so that's why I was not allowed to lift this stone um, I forgot to to make a small dialogue that will be shown when we obtain the treasure so if you don't remember how to make items this will uh, maybe refresh your memory but we need a dialogue whose name is underscore treasure dot the name of the item dot the variant of the item so if we want to make s multiple levels of power bracelet we can make more for example you could say that uh, with level one you can lift the the white stones but not the the dark stones for example this one is heavier let's say so right now I cannot lift any of them if I take the power bracelet oops I forgot to finish my dialogue so I created one but it's empty you found the power bracelet you can now lift stones I don't know if the dialogue will fit ah, okay nothing is happening because I also forgot to put the treasure in my chest power bracelet okay variant number one so it will give me variant one of the power bracelet so normally I should have a, a treasure sprite here um, but I, I haven't prepared one for the power bracelet for this tutorial so sorry about that but please if you don't know how to do that please go see the tutorial about treasures but normally when when there is an a treasure it, it has an item like the rupee that 
the, the gem that we just saw. So, okay, I was able to lift the light stone, but not the dark stone, as expected. And if you give variant number two of the power bracelet, then the, the Loire script will set ability number two, ability level two, which allows to, uh, yeah, illegal direction. Yeah, I have some errors because of that missing sprite that I was mentioning, but uh, and also I forgot to make the dialogue. Dialogue number two. Uh, the greater power bracelet. We cannot. We can now lift uh, very heavy stones. Yay! Cool. Um, so that that's mostly it about destructible objects. We we can make more examples. You also have the vase um, that can be done. Vase is is really the, the same as stone to me, and just with a different sprite. But you can customize a lot of things. Um, you can also make uh, some grass that can be uh, cut by the hero. With maybe the bush sound will be more appropriate. Can be cut, and something special about the grass is that we want it to be traversable. So here, by default, I cannot traverse it. Um, because the engine does not see, I mean, it does not consider this as grass, it's just some sprite. But we can tell uh, that we want some special ground. So if you do nothing, is it will be equivalent to a wall. But if you set a special ground, you can say, uh, so you can say traversable. And then I can walk over my grass. And you can also say, and by the way, we don't want to lift it. Uh, I think that would not be, be possible anyway when uh, it is traversable. It has to be an obstacle for the hero to to let the engine consider that he's facing the uh, object and that he can lift it. But there is also a special ground, a built-in ground called gl grass that will make a small animation under the feet of the hero, like this. So you can use this if you want. And as a final example, let's make uh, something that can explode and that can regenerate. Um, play a sound when it's really bush. So this was made um, to to allow you to create bomb flowers like in um, Zelda. And actually, I have a nice sprite about uh, that. Yes, it's called Nitrodendron <laughs> and it comes from Ocean's Heart. So thanks, Max, for providing such cool sprites with free licenses. So you can use this in your project, it's Creative Commons like everything I use in these tutorials. But um, yeah, I think I forgot to say that I wanted to be able to lift it. Um, can be cut, it's not necessary. If I try to cut it, yeah, nothing happens. Maybe I want to, to say can be cut, but it will make it explode. And we said can regenerate, so it will regenerate soon. <laughs> okay, it takes some time. We can lift it, so don't wait 
uh, too long, otherwise it will explode on you, like that. And you can also throw it on enemies, and it will explode as soon as it hits uh, pretty much anything. So yeah, it's very easy to implement bomb flowers actually, because everything is built in. Um, yeah, and if you want even more customizations, customiza customization, sorry, than all of this, um, you can always use Lu the Lua API to do uh, something different. One thing that you cannot do is an an object that you can throw and that would not break and that you can then lift again so this was not uh, designed to to be possible initially but uh, so it's not possible in using the built-in uh, UI here but you can do it in Lua we do it actually in our more recent games uh, for instance you can make a boulder then that can be uh, found in some room of a dungeon and you need to transport it and to throw it into various rooms of, of that dungeon to to get it somewhere else so it can be thrown and it does not break when when you throw it so you can reuse it and lift it again so yeah not in the UI but doable in Lua Basically, if you want any more customization, it's always possible. Sometimes it's more or less easy, but uh, usually a lot of things are, are possible. Um, okay, I guess that's it for this episode. Uh, I hope I hope you will have fun with your stones, with your vases, and your bushes and everything that the hero can lift or cut. Um, and next time we will actually use uh, some of the things that we saw in this tutorial to implement a boss example. And this time I promise. <laughs> okay, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!